starts now. The Gaines have a house that's cold and uninviting. It's like Siberia in here. They've called in our crew. Let's all cheer up, because <laughs> we're going to bring in some color to this back room. To shake things up and add a sunny new style. Go, Kelly, go. More color, more color. Next. The last five years have been filled with firsts for Kelly and Michael Gaines. They bought their first house, they've had their first child, and now that they have a little experience under their belts, they're ready to move on to the next level. So, to help them with another first, selling their house, they've wisely called upon the Design to Sell team. Hello, Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Hello? Nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm great. Now, do you prefer Michael or Mike? Mike is much better. All right, I'll go by Michael, your house. <laughs> no problem. Speaking of which, nice house. Thank, Thank you. you. This 1,200 square foot house has two bedrooms and one and a half baths. It's located in Beverly on the south side of Chicago, where houses typically sell for $130,000 to $200,000. And so, how has this house been for you guys? I love it. It's my first house. I have an emotional attachment to it. Really? Yes, I do. Oh, that's cool. How, how about you? Gonna make them start crying. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a great house. It's a great house. We just need to move on. So I know whose room this is. Yes, this is Kirsten. So the master suite. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is all hers. It's cute. Well, should we see the rest? OK. Yes. Nice. Thank you. This was my big project last year. I had plans for a big TV. And, <laughs> and you had to settle for this? Yeah. <laughs> my goal was to make this a man room, but it's slowly becoming Kirsten's room. As is the whole house. And we do plan to have more kids eventually, so we have to have somewhere to put them. So you're planning? Yes. We're going to let Brandy Malay come in and just go buck wild, do what she does. Okay. Talk about the place so we can get this thing sold. Yeah. Sounds good. Speaking of going, that's what you must do. OK, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that's the one. This is it. She's cute. I'm intrigued. Let's see what's going on, on the inside. Uh, <laughs> once again. <laughs> the good mood spoiled already. It's out the door. What did it? You know, this town is called Beverly, and it's actually technically Beverly Hills. There's nothing Beverly Hills about this. It's like Siberia in here. Nothing going on over there. It's empty, it's lonely, and that's exactly how the buyers are going to feel. Lonely? And the same thing with the walls. It's, again, like Siberia. The theme continues. It's barren. There's no color. I told you, red. You know, Michael, outside we started with an A on the report card. That was a C, very average. And now we're on to, I'm going to go ahead and maybe give this a D, D plus. D? D. <laughs> That's almost failing. Well, at least there's a plus. What's the plus? The plus is that the seller has called you. <laughs> this is, again, no paint on the walls. It feels very cold in here. And I'm looking ahead here, and I see that they've put on an addition. And it's pretty common that people keep the windows. I get that. It's a cost saver. But by putting on the metal blinds, you're accentuating the fact that you cheaped out and didn't take the windows out in the first place. Oh. And you expect an outdoors to be beyond that, and it's just a dark room that I'm kind of nervous to go into. Well, go into it anyway, will you? And here's the F bringing up the rear of the house. F? F. I've always been a straight A student. It's dark paneling, dark furniture. It's dark days for the seller, Michael. Detention for this design, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. Definite detention. Get a little glimpse of the backyard. I'd be showcasing that there's actually a backyard, because I would have never known that just coming back here. But now that we're standing here and I see a little sliver of it, you, know, you might want to play that up. And looking up here, I mean, duct tape. I might want to use that on my mouth, because I am kind of going off here. Duct tape works for everything. So what you're saying is we've got plenty of homework. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not. <laughs> Here to make things a little easier is designer Monica Peterson. What we need to do is we need to get you an A+. We've got to make this room something that buyers walk into, have a great reaction to right off the bat. First off, we're going to bring in some wall color, just a nice neutral wall color. Okay. We're also going to take away the vertical blinds. The spay window is a selling feature, and I know your layout works for you now, but I want to make sure when buyers come in, they get to go to those windows. 
Next, we're going to pop it up with some color and personality. Check it out. Ta -da -da. That's nice. Look at the difference. Whoa. I can see it already. All right. <laughs> Just a little, little bit of punch, right? Yeah, like okay. <laughs> but let's look at this side of the living room. Uh -oh. This is a very empty corner. Yes. Yes. Lonely and cold. It's lonely and cold. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in a couple of bookcases. We're going to make some built-ins. The okay. problem is, though, we have a very long wall here and a very short wall there. So I am going to close in the arch a little bit. We're going to benefit more and bring more value to both rooms by having more wall space. Great. This room is going to be all about personality and impact. Paint color is going to do a lot for this space. All okay. right. We are also going to replace your table. Great. Great. <laughs> You're really easy to tell. Your husband's like, hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. The glass is just a little bit cold. And I really want to warm up every room here. OK. okay? We're also going to bring in a new light fixture okay. that has a lot more style. Good. Good. I'll take that. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, OK, well, you know what? <laughs> Let's all cheer up, because <laughs> we're going to bring in some color to this back room. How's that? All right. Great. OK. <laughs> Here's the color I'm bringing into this room. It's a very modern green. We're going to paint the paneling. OK. Don't be concerned, Michael. I've done this before, and I know it works. <laughs> trust me. You trust me? OK. We're also going to take away the window treatments. When we're done, buyers are going to see this room from the dining room through these windows and be very excited to get here. OK. Good? Good. So you guys excited for everything we're doing? Let's go. Yes. OK. <laughs> Rest up. It's going to be a big week. All right. OK. Coming up, the dust starts flying. I'm about to get dirty. Yes, sir, you are. And the problems start mounting. That means good news and bad news. Okay, what is it? This program brought to you by Tuesday Morning. Showdown, Sunday, 9, 8 central. Well, it's workday number one at the Gaines house, and that can only mean one thing. Lots of dust, lots of noise, and lots of controlled chaos. Okay, so that's three things. But thankfully, designer Monica Peterson and carpenters Chad Lopez and Robert North know that things have to get ugly before they get pretty. It's the start of work day one. We've got to make some room for construction and painting. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so let's get this stuff out of here. In an orderly right. way. Yeah. Orderly way. You know where to go. I show off for you. Let's go. Okay, here for oh, a while. Take the feet off. Oh, no, no, no. The feet have to come off. There we go. All right, Mike, you clear? Yeah, go. That's the longest couch oh, yeah, removal I've up. ever seen. Look who I'm moving it with. <laughs> you got a point. Now that you've brightened up the back room with some primer, mm -hmm. we can brighten up our dining room. OK. Once our wall is fuller, this is going to be a true dining room and not a pass-through like it is now. Right. Here's our color, some drama. Love it, love yeah, it. Love it. OK, good. Should we paint? Yes. Let's do it. You want to roll or brush? Roll. Roll, OK. It's pretty. You like it? like it. All right. Go, Kelly, go. I'm going. More color, more color. Ooh, this is hard work. All right, now, as you already know, Monica wants to try to dress this wall up and make the space a little more functional. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is cut these sections out, that one and this one, and then frame it all over. Oh, grab that pack of blades down there. Now, this is my favorite general purpose destruction, partner. If it absolutely positively has to go down, this is the one you want. I'm about to get dirty. Yes, sir, you are. That's what we got to get through on the other three sides. We have definitely got our work cut we out for us. a lot of work to do. What we're gonna do is rip down our studs now for framing out the wall that heckle and jekyll that <laughs> tore apart in there. Rip so down? Gotta, What's a rip down? Rip down just means we're gonna run a saw the length of the board to make it a little narrower. Oh, okay. Make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how is it? Can you tell the difference? Well, it looks a little bit like a roller coaster, but 
It'll do. It'll work. Will it hold up the wall? Yeah, it'll. OK, then. No offense, though. I'm going to cut the other one. All right. That's fair, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the framing. All right, man. I think, uh, I gotta go help Monty hang a light. Why don't you help Chad? We got this. Rock this up. Here you go. That's right. You know, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. I'm gonna Put do it right. On. I got this. You got it? I got this. You gonna need these two? This is not necessary. You might need to adjust the strap <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I got these. So I'm gonna do these bottom, you do the top. Okay. You just wanna go in. <laughs> like that? <laughs> don't make fun, dude. <laughs> Watch what I get and see what happens. I need another one. That one wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, right? That's. You know what? I'm gonna call that good. That's it. The Here. house will still sell, right? <clears throat> you know what you can do? Go get that other drywall. It's a very important job, <laughs> and uh, one I would only entrust to the, my most trusted person. Hope they can get these done before Mike gets back. We need to find out whether or not these wires are hot, Monica. So you do me a favor, hold the tester, the reader. If that number goes up to 120, it's hot. If it stays at zero, we're good. Okay, you're not gonna get hurt or anything, are you? I hope not. <laughs> I shouldn't. Okay. Um, we're moving. What's the number? 2.3. Okay. Not that much. How about now? Zero. All right, nothing, Robert. Yeah, so you know what that means, right? That means good news and bad news. Okay, what is it? Well, the bad news is no light in here. At least not right there. Okay. But the good news is we can paint. Well, that's great news, actually. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'll bring in another lamp. I'll mm -hmm. save money on the slight fixture. Right. But we have to cover it up and make it look better than it looks right now. Well, I don't think it'll be too hard. No. <laughs> OK, let's paint. Up next. Woo! Now, the hard part is yet to come. One more day of work might not be enough. OK, this is a mess. Oh, gosh. All right. Pick up the phone and call now. So, uh, Mike, how do you think yesterday went? I was kind of off yesterday, but I'm on today. I noticed that. <laughs> the, the I off, didn't want to mention it. The off or the on? <laughs> Both. <laughs> More Good morning. Off than on. Hey. hey. What's going on? Nothing. Good start to work day two. Yes. Already set up and working. Yep. All right, enjoy the weather. I'll see you inside. I'm on today. <laughs> yeah, that remains to be seen. I'm on. What's up, man? What's up, boys? We got to do some cutting for our shelves inside. But, uh, Pull them away for a second. Knock yourself out. All right. You ain't really doing nothing over here anyway. Hey, you know. <laughs> all right, Mike. Yeah. What we got to do is cut down all the pieces out of this MDF, this and a couple other sheets. So which side? It doesn't matter. Either one. Keep going. More. More. How about like this? There we go. Wow, yeah, this is going to be easy. See tricky. what I'm saying? Yeah, this is. This As a matter of fact, Rob. It's a little Rob, unwieldy. Mind give me a hand? Not that I don't trust it's you, Mike, but I can't do it. it's a three-person job, it's all right? It's a three-man job. OK. He do it. He and I hey, do it all the time. it's a three-man job. It's it's just three, two men then. Four. Rob, it's a three-man job. I got it. I'll stand back and observe your technique. Mike, definitely better than yesterday, buddy. I told you it was a two-man job. You may have redeemed yourself. What do you think of your new uh, base for your bookcase? Those are great. Like it? Right, yes. Here's the door. OK. I took out the panels for two reasons. One, we have to let heat out through one of the bookcases right. because it's in front of a radiator. And two, in our living room, we're not usually trying to hide stuff. Right. Like in our family room, we're cramming all the games and everything. Living room, it's more decorative. OK. So this tin, which is very inexpensive, very easy to work with, is such a nice way to break up all that wood. I made these marks. We're assembly going to trim it. OK. Crafting with Kelly, which I know you want to do. Yes. Crafting with Kelly. All right. <laughs> You know, it, also, it looks easier. Does it look easier yeah. than it is? I know. <laughs> These things always look easier than they are when you get down to it. You want to stand here next to me now? I think you, you're going to take a break. I'm getting that feeling from you. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're really flexing those muscles there. OK, 
Here we go. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Here is the door. Now, we're gonna add some silicone. Okay, this is a mess. Oh gosh, all right. <laughs> My big carpenters yeah. cut a big opening in this, so it'll be a little bit messier than I want it to be. Okay. Ooh, Ooh yes, yes, really yes. Really pretty, I love it. Just a little bit of texture, a little bit of decoration. Mm -hmm. I need a flat head so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Now, the hard part has yet to come. Uh -oh. You know what that is, right? Uh, no. It's working with Monica as she tells us where to put the table. I agree. Yeah. OK, let's tweak this over a teeny bit. You always should have your table in place before you place your chandelier. OK, Robert, well, just so we suspected. What? We've got to do a little swag. Right, right, right. About here? Higher. Higher. Yes. Good. A few more links. Higher. A little bit. Let me see. I think that's nice. Looks good to you? Yeah, I think it's good. Give me one. Give me one extra link. Actually, two, two extra links. Up or down? Down. No, down. I mean, I mean, I wanted the chandelier to go down, so go so up. So I gotta go You up. gotta go up. Yeah. I okay. told you it was great, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, okay so we'll put on back. There we go. This is serious. That's it. This is very serious. That's a big piece of furniture right there. It's a big old okay. case. I am so not missing the arch. And I'm so excited to get this painted, decorated, and ready for the open house. Sweet. Yeah, this thing will sell this house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Up next, it's the open house. So we've made the grade here. Yes. yes. Yeah, definitely. But the final report card is up to the buyers. It's nice, it's roomy, it's bright. Next. This is gorgeous. It's eight. Open House for Kelly and Michael Gaines begins in just a short while. They hope that designer Monica Peterson's $2,000 worth of changes brings them in a buyer, and soon. Let's take a look at what prospective buyers are in for. We definitely had to work on getting a better grade in our living room. What was the grade that our realtor had given us? C. 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 You didn't like that. No. So I think we have done our work, and we are definitely in the A, possibly A-plus range. I would agree. Before, the living room looked boring and bare. Now it springs to life with color and plenty of detail. A new layout gives it an open feel, and bookcases add immediate interest. Our extra credit is coming from our wonderful bookcases. Yes. They create this amazing focal point, mm -hmm. and by closing in the arch, we've gained perfect symmetry, mm -hmm. which is always nice. Also, our bay window area. This was so undervalued by having the love seat here. So we still have a seating area. It's just less heavy. Okay. 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 Simple window treatments and some shades. Made a big difference there. Beautiful. Really I good? Love the layer. Yeah, you love the layering? Mm -hmm. I love it too. I think it's really nice. And it's definitely interesting for buyers because they're going to notice that. So we've made the grade here. Yes. yes. Yeah? Definitely. Let's see if we've made the grade in the dining room. Come on. We have made this dining room into a dining room that will sell. What used to be more like an awkward pass through is now a true formal dining room with drama and style. Slip covers, a new table, and a sunny yellow color put this room at center stage. For under $500, we got everything done here. But overall, this is a dramatic dining room that's going to totally help you sell your house. Yes. It's really good. Gorgeous. I love it. Me too. So can I come over for dinner tonight? Sure. Okay, great. So basically, this is our big bonus for the buyers. Yeah. Yes. Before, the back room was dark and depressing. Now it's light and airy with a garden feel. This was an inexpensive room. It was easy to stage. We simply used your couch mm -hmm. from the living room. What a difference that makes yeah. in here. Yes. Crowded in there, and here it's perfect. Window treatments. Buyers with small families, they're going to want to know that they can sit and hang out in here and see what the kids are doing. Right. It's just about staging and showing buyers they have an extra wonderful space on yeah. the first floor here. So exactly how did Monica spend her $2,000 budget? The bookshelves took out the biggest bite, and the slip covers for the chairs weren't cheap. Accessories, window treatments, and a few pieces of furniture took about half. Add a little paint, and the grand total still leaves us with a few bucks. 
I think it's darling. Yes. That's good. It didn't break my budget, which was good. Great. <laughs> and we're in great shape. I mean, open house, come on in, because we're ready. All right. We're ready. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. This is really nice. Wow, the floor is gorgeous. You know, like yeah, I love hardwood floors. It's Ooh, shiny. Nice. Look at the picture wonder. That's beautiful. Oh, Mia, look at the bookshelves. I like it. Yeah, we have a lot of books. So this will fit well. Look at this big table, Jordan. Man, we can all sit here. Grandma, Denise, Pam, all of us. It's nice, it's roomy, it's bright. Ooh, now this is the room right here. This is my room right yes, here. Yes, it's gorgeous. Look, Jordan, this can be an additional room, a playroom, yeah. or a den for you and Jason. This is very cozy. The colors are nice. It gives you a nice warmth. This is gorgeous right here, Malik. What do you think? Yeah, this room. I can we can hang, hang out, out here. We can hang out in here. This is really nice. The backyard is what's going to sell me, because I have children, so I want to be able to see them when they're playing. You can see them playing back there <laughs> yeah, from here. Yeah, I noticed that when I came in. So this could, this could be it? It can be it. Well, we received an offer in our home a week after the open house. Yes, the woman loved it. She made offer the same day she saw it. We couldn't have done it without the design to sell team. Thank you. Looks a little bit like a roller coaster, but it's not bad. Well, most of it's mostly left over, though, right? <laughs> it's not exactly the flatlands, but we'll be all right. You, need you want some goggles? Just a little more. No, I'm good on that. I just like... need to get closer to it.